Hey, it's Ramonda Catrea with www.brickhousetalk.com, and I'm in Oakland, California, with Coach Prince of the East Bay Warriors. How are you this evening? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing well, but I think you're doing better than I am. Congratulations on your your uh, great season. I understand you guys are undefeated, and that you're on your way to Florida. Let's talk about your season. It's been a great season so far. We've been blessed to um, go undefeated, like you said. Um, I have a great group of kids, a great group of coaches, and I give the kids and the coaches a lot of credit. They really work hard. I manage the coaches and they take care of the kids and get us in the position that we've been in. Okay, and so how long have you been coaching these wonderful group of guys? I've been out here coaching for about 10 years, uh, so it's uh, something that I really enjoy. It's like when I'm out here, there's nothing else in the world going on, so uh, it's a great time. I have a kid that my son's on my team this year, um, so that's good, um, and, it, and it's just great being out here with the kids for so long. Absolutely. So, you know, Brickhouse Talk, we pride ourselves in promoting academics, education. So can you tell me how are the kids doing this in school? Are you, are you big on them on the field and off the field as well? The kids are required to have a 2.0. Those that don't have 2.0 have to go on progress report. If they don't maintain the progress report and bring it up to a 2.0, then they're not able to play. Uh, we didn't lose any kids to grades this year. Um, I think in the last three years I haven't lost any kids to grades, so it's real um, competitive when it comes to the grades as well as men on the field. Absolutely. So um, another good thing about sportsmanship, what do you teach a kid, the kids about, you know, being unit, uni united because that's how you win games together. So what are your thoughts on that? Uh, it starts with discipline. Yeah. Uh, we really teach discipline with the kids. Um, we teach them to respect the uh, board members, respect the coaches, respect the other team, respect the officials and um, they have discipline. Okay, and okay, Florida. You guys are getting ready to go to Florida. You have a game on Sunday. Um, good luck with that game. And then that game will put you into going to Florida or are you already in that? That'll put us into the championship game, our league championship game. If we win the league championship game, then we're on to Florida. Um, this will be my third year in a row going to Florida. We played in the, actually played in the national championship game last year. Came up a little short to a team from um, Washington, D.C., um, but I'm taking a good group of kids back this year. I think we got a shot to uh, make it back to the championship game and uh, maybe even win it. Yes, and I we had the opportunity to speak with two of your kids, and one, I asked him, what are you guys going to do different, differently this year? And he said they didn't take the kids last year seriously. You know, they went in all cocky and, oh, we're going to win this, but this time they're going in with a different attitude. I'm Xavier Clark. I'm 12. I play for the East Bay. Wildcats, and I go to MLK Middle School, and I've been playing football for seven years, and this is going to be my third time going to Florida, and both times we lost, both years, so we need to come out and like play a little bit harder, and yeah. So what are you going to do differently this year? What are you guys, what different plays, or what are you guys going to do differently this to ensure that you're going to come home with a victory? Uh, we're going to go out there. Like last year, we underestimated some of the teams. So this year, we're going to like go out and like play harder because we didn't play as hard as we could last year. Okay, well, we will definitely be rooting for you, and good luck. Thank you. My name is Jerron White, and I'm the fullback for the East Bay Wildcats. I am 11 years old. I go to Edinburgh Middle School. And and you're, we're here today because we're, we understand you guys are undefeated and you're getting ready to go to Florida. So tell me about this experience. Are you excited about Florida? Yes. Yeah, and, excited. and you've been there before, right? Yeah, only once. One time. So what are you guys going to do differently this year to make sure you bring home a victory? Um, we're going to play harder, make sure we do our best, and we're going to make sure we do all of our plays right. And uh, what school you go to again? In the board. So, Brickhouse Talk, we're big on studies. How are you in school? How are your um, grades? 3.2. Three. I like that. Okay. And so, who is your favorite football team uh, player? What player do you idolize? Reggie Bush. Reggie Bush. And why? Um, because he's a good role model and he's very good on the field. All righty. Well, good luck to you in Florida and good luck tomorrow. I mean, Sunday. You guys have a game on Sunday, right? Yes. All right. Good luck to you. Thank you. Right. So, what's going to be different about this year? Uh, we want to make sure we have the right man mindset. We want to respect our opponents. Um, 
again, we want to be disciplined. When you get down there and you're facing um, seven other teams from seven different regions, the kids are really disciplined. They listen to their coaches. They know what they're doing. So everything starts with that. And um, if we can do that and raise enough money, yes. then we can get the kids down. I think we have a good shot at um, bringing it home. But if we don't, it's a great opportunity for the kids. Um, I think it's something they'll remember for the rest of their lives. Absolutely. Well, good luck to you. We will definitely be promoting and trying to get sponsorship for you guys. You know, I know you guys are going to do well. You've had a great season thus far. But do me a favor, you know, next year when this comes around, contact us because we would love to come out and cover your games. We will definitely reach out to you. I'm thank uh, I want to thank you for taking the time to come out and um, shine some spotlight on our, our program and our kids. Absolutely. Well, Coach Prince, thank you so much for your time and good luck again. And I am Ramada Katrea with www.brickhousetalk.com Okay, hold on. Can I get in there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>